Have you ever wondered what secrets lie hidden in the depths of the Grand Canyon? Join us as we uncover the stories etched into its ancient rocks, revealing the dramatic forces of nature that shaped this iconic landscape over millions of years. A geological wonder. The Grand Canyon, a marvel sculpted through eons, showcases a vivid journey through Earth's dynamic geological history. Imagine the relentless flow of the Colorado River over millions of years, patiently carving this colossal chasm into the crust of the Earth. This river, though modest in width, compared to giants like the Mississippi or the Amazon, wields a power mightier than its size might suggest. Its journey through the canyon is a masterclass in natural artistry, meticulously sculpting the landscape a little each day. As we explore the canyon walls, they reveal a tapestry of rock layers, each a page in Earth's ancient diary. These layers are more than just beautiful. They are a record of time itself, spanning hundreds of millions of years. From the rim to the river, each stratum tells a story of different environments, from shallow tropical seas to vast deserts, all compressed into stone. Some of the canyon's most telling geological features are the Vishnu Schist, for instance. This dark, metamorphic rock forms some of the deepest parts of the canyon and is among the oldest exposed rocks in North America, dating back nearly 1.8 billion years. It's a witness to the intense heat and pressure that shaped the early crust of our planet, reminding us of the fiery and violent beginnings of Earth. Above the Vishnu Schist, you encounter the Great Unconformity. This feature is a direct peek into a mysterious gap in time, where nearly 1.2 billion years of Earth's history are simply missing. Below this boundary, the ancient rocks date back billions of years, while directly above, the layers are significantly younger. This stark contrast is like flipping from one chapter of a book to another, only to find several pages ripped out in between. These features and the processes that created them, deposition, erosion, and plate tectonics are central to understanding the Grand Canyon's formation. Depositional processes lay down each layer with sediments accumulating over time from water, wind, and ice. Then came the uplift, massive geological forces that pushed the Colorado Plateau upward, tilting and twisting layers before erosion by water and wind sculpted the current landscape. Time travel through rocks. Exploring the Grand Canyon reveals that each layer of rock is like a chapter in an epic book chronicling Earth's history. These strata, or layers, are stacked from the oldest at the bottom to the youngest at the top, preserving epochs within their grains. If you could run your hand along these layers, it would be like brushing over the pages of time. At the base, the oldest stories are told. The Vishnu Schist, dark and enigmatic, speaks of a world unrecognizable today. It's from a time when the environment was harsh, volcanic activity was rampant, and the atmosphere was barely breathable. Above this, you climb to newer chapters, such as the Zoroaster granite, which injects itself into the tail with lighter hues and a story of cooling magma shaping the landscape. As you ascend through the geological column, you witness the principle of superposition in action. This fundamental concept in geology holds that, unless disturbed by outside forces, each layer of rock is younger than the one below it. This orderly arrangement is like reading a book from the first page to the last, with each chapter adding to the story of Earth's past. Two of the most remarkable periods showcased in the canyon's walls are the Proterozoic and the Cambrian. The Proterozoic era, ending around 540 million years ago, set the stage with vast, quiet oceans and the gradual buildup of oxygen that would later fuel life's explosion. Then comes the Cambrian period, often thought of as the biological Big Bang, when life dramatically diversified and flourished. These layers are the very thresholds of life's drama on Earth. Each stratum marks geological history and also captures events that shape the very nature of our planet. From volcanic eruptions to the rise of complex life, the Grand Canyon's strata are silent witnesses to the relentless march of geological time. Human and natural history intersect. The Grand Canyon is also a crossroads where human and natural histories meet. Long before it became a landmark for visitors from around the globe, the canyon held deep cultural significance for Native American tribes. The name Kaibab 
used by the Paiute people, translates to mountain lying down or upside down mountain, reflecting the tribe's profound connection to and understanding of the landscape. This name hints at their deep geological insight, recognizing the inverted visual layers of rock that seem to mimic great mountains turned upside down. The canyon's spiritual significance extends beyond mere names. For centuries, it has been a sacred site where many tribes performed rituals, hunted, and lived. The echoes of their ancient civilizations linger in the artifacts and rock paintings scattered throughout the canyon, telling stories of human resilience and adaptation. Transitioning from the indigenous heritage to the era of modern exploration, the canyon's narrative takes a turn with figures like John Wesley Powell. In 1869, this one-armed Civil War veteran and explorer led the first known expedition down the Colorado River. His journey was a significant scientific expedition. Powell's detailed accounts and mappings of the river and its surroundings were pioneering at the time and opened the doors to further scientific exploration and understanding of the Grand Canyon's vast geological expanse. Powell's work illuminated the complexities of the canyon's geology and geography for the scientific community and the wider world. His vivid descriptions and observations helped shift the perception of the Grand Canyon from one of a formidable barrier to a valuable window into Earth's past. Through his eyes, we began to see the potential for these landscapes to teach us about geological processes that had previously been mere theories. The Grand Canyon Today the Grand Canyon continues to evolve under the influence of both natural forces and human stewardship, with current efforts intensifying to address new challenges and protect its timeless beauty. Conservation and research activities at the canyon are deeply interconnected, focusing on preserving the landscape and also on understanding and mitigating the impacts of climate change. Conservation and Research Efforts the National Park Service, alongside various organizations, is actively engaged in strategies to combat the effects of climate change within the Grand Canyon area. These include managing rising temperatures, decreasing snowpacks, and combating increased occurrences of wildfires. These efforts are critical to maintaining the health of the canyon's ecosystems and ensuring the longevity of its diverse habitats. In addition to climate-focused initiatives, the canyon faces threats from invasive species that disrupt its ecological balance. The introduction of smallmouth bass, for instance, poses a significant risk to the native humpback chub populations. Current proposals by the Bureau of Reclamation aim to manage water flows and other measures to mitigate the impact of these invasive fish balancing ecological health with conservation priorities. Geological formation, understanding the Grand Canyon's formation through erosion is vital for appreciating its grandeur and significance. Over millions of years, the relentless forces of water and wind have sculpted the landscape, carving deep and expansive gorges into layers of rock. This geological process reveals the canyon's past environments and climatic conditions, providing a visual history of Earth's evolutionary changes. New Monument Designation Recently, the Grand Canyon's preservation efforts received a significant boost with the designation of the Bajnuavjo Ita Kukveni Ancestral. Footprints of the Grand Canyon National Monument by President Biden in August 2023. This new monument protects nearly a million acres around Grand Canyon National Park, safeguarding this majestic landscape and its cultural heritage. Public support for conservation. Public sentiment strongly backs the conservation of the Grand Canyon, with a recent poll showing overwhelming support across political lines for the National Monument designation. Specifically, the poll reveals that 89% of Democrats, 73% of Independents, and 65% of Republicans support the idea. This demonstrates a broad recognition of the importance of preserving such natural treasures for future generations. These comprehensive efforts underscore the ongoing commitment to the Grand Canyon as a symbol of natural beauty and a critical focus of scientific research and environmental education. As we continue to explore and protect this iconic landscape, it serves as a living testament to the power of preservation and the importance of understanding our planet's history and future. But what do you think was the most crucial element in shaping this natural masterpiece? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed unraveling the mysteries, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.
hit that notification bell to stay updated on our latest adventures exploring the world's most stunning landscapes. You can also check out our other videos for more breathtaking sights. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.